Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Urban One 2018. I'm your host, Wayne Johnson, and I have a special guest here with me today, uh, Dr. Henry Roberts. And it's an honor and a privilege to have the man of God on set today. And so with no further ado, uh, we're going to bring Pastor Henry Roberts, the pastor of a great church and great organization. So, Pastor, good to have you on board with us today. How are things going? Man, I'm blessed. It's just good to be here, man. Uh, and I appreciate the opportunity for you to interview me and, and, and be on here sharing with your with your guests and all the people out there about the Word of Life uh, Christian College and Career Development Center. Yeah, all right, man. Could you take a, a moment just to talk a little bit? What, what, what made you want to create a college, a center, or either do what you're doing in, in, in that capacity? Well, one, I'm an education major. Uh, I went to college actually to be a school teacher. But wow. a long time ago, back 1993, uh, 92, 93, there was a, a man of God who used to come on the radio with a Know Your Bible radio broadcast by the name of his Bishop Fred Caldwell. And All Bishop right. Caldwell actually came here. He was going to set up a, a Bible college in the school, but when he came, and uh, the people didn't actually have all the, the funds at the time. He said, "Hey, uh, I can't. We not, we can't do this like this. Uh, but you qualified, and if you want to run the school, you can. But basically, I'm turning everything kind of like over to you. If you want to run it, you can. But uh, basically, I can't do it unless everybody had all their funds all up at once. And I think tuition back then was like fifteen hundred dollars. And he was coming down from Shreveport. The way we partnered." I was just going to let him use our location at 1682 South Atmore Avenue in Whistler to hold the classes and, and make it convenient for people who wanted to get a, 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 a greater grasp on scripture and a greater understanding. Uh, a lot of times, uh, uh, Bishop, we, 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 we get our briefcase, we get our Bibles and we say the Holy ghost, you know, anointed us. And then we just take off and go not knowing that, uh, uh, Brothers, man, lot even even the men who are responsible for the canonization of scripture, they were all students and studied. They studied the word. Actually, the scripture says, "Study to show thyself approved, and work when need not be in shame, rightly dividing the word of truth." So, I, our yeah. church at that time was growing, and I knew a lot of times people couldn't just leave and go to seminary, a Bible college. They had to work. So we 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 it just kind of fell in our lap since 1994 and we've been kind of cultivating and developing and doing it ever since then all right, all right. wow great great so really you kind of stumble in it by divine appointment and god just one thing led to another and god had that in store for you so it just it just it just manifested from there and then now here you are with uh with uh you know with that christian college uh and a lot of people have a lot of opportunities you know to, to educate themselves and learn more about what god would have them to do yeah since you was talking about those credentials i, I got a book uh you know talking about uh the results of, of the power of the mantle and i was uh i got it over in uh pakistan right now so uh, my interpreter uh, evangelist Imran, he's a, he's a translated right now. So he asked me a question about credentials <laughs> and he was trying to figure it out to put it in their language. So, you know, cause got the language barrier. And this is what I told him. I said, yeah, I was trying to explain it to him. I said, you got your natural credentials by man where they go in and you can make sure you got your training. So they give you a certificate or, you know, for, 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 to let you know that you've been certified. I said, but God also has some certifications. So you have your natural certification, then you have your spiritual certification, you know, through the fivefold ministry or whatever God called you to do. And then he said, oh, OK, yeah, I, I understand. You know, so that was, that was kind of like a coincidence today. So we so happy to have you here with us, man of God. And so uh, talk a little bit more about how a student, say somebody that wanted to come and be, become a uh, 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 want to sign up and become a part of this 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 great college and this Christian network. Just give us a little rundown how the steps that they should do to you know to, to, well, to it it, it, it's a fully accredited Christian Bible college. Uh, and as I say, Career Development Center, we've real recently been developing that piece of it because we want to be able to, to not only train people for the kingdom, but kingdom people have other assignments like being CNAs, nurses assistants, uh uh, working working in 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 uh in in the food service industry uh 
also like like you say video production and television production and things of that nature things that you could get hands on and actually go out and and not only just work in the kingdom of god but also in the secular realm as you were d discussing but the school it, it, it's it, it has uh several departments in it and so let's say you already have a degree but you don't you've never been to bible college or seminary and well our first 10 courses that we recommend that you take or what we call our school of ministry. You can take these 10 courses and you get certified, as you were saying, in, from the school of ministry. In many cases, uh, in different terms, they would call that certification or that training that you receive at vetting, if you would. And, and all of our hours, they, they transfer the other universities and colleges. People have left us and gone to law school in different places and, and just let their whole lives have just been transformed and blessed. So the first 10 courses, what you would do, we have we, you, you can go online or we meet each second and fourth Saturday from nine to twelve at the church. We you before pandemic, we would meet on second and fourth Saturdays and then yeah. Mondays and Thursday nights. And the reason why we were doing that is so we could stack the curriculum and people could actually take more than one class or more than three classes at a time. Then yeah. you can get finish a whole lot faster because we, we you literally have to do the work. We're not an institution. Where you pay your money and then we, you know, we we just kind of mans and pans you through here. No, 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 no. When we give you a degree certificate, we know what you know. The first 10 <laughs> courses that you have to take are just like in any other Bible college or, 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 or university mobile, in preachers that say they're gonna be preachers or whatever. Most major yeah. denominations now, a lot of us don't know that, probably in our culture only, but all major denominations, they don't just give people license. You have to go to their schools. Like if you're a church of God, you got to go to the school that's in, 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 in Cleveland, Tennessee, Lee College. Yeah. If you're Assemblies of God, they got the Berean. Uh, if, if you're Methodist, they have several universities all over the United States, Southern Baptist. Uh, the Church of God in Christ even has a, a school in the in the in the you the, the, the what they call the, the student uh what do they call that place in Atlanta, but it's like a big hub where all the major uh African American historically black colleges are. And but the even the Church of God in Christ has an institution where they train properly certify their ministers. So it, just to get back to the meet, you can go online and look mm -hmm. up Life Christian College and uh career development center and you can find a whole list of things we we serve from uh certification all the way up to doctor degrees uh the certification is it, those 10 courses that i'm about to describe in a few seconds <laughs> are, are, are using prerequisite let's yeah. say you you're, you're a nursing major or like I myself was an education major. Well, when I went to seminary at New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary, I had to do some prereqs before I could actually start working on my major. So the prereqs, are, these 10 courses serve for someone who already has an associate's or a bachelor's in some other field uh, as a, a, a means to get you ready to start working on a master's of biblical studies, a uh, master's of divinity, or which other field of uh, study in curriculum you choose to endeavor in to get your personal degree because we suit it for the individual students. Yes, uh, some of the courses are standard, but then when you get into your majors, like master's right. and doctorate, we we prescribe, and then you have to do specific work that, uh, 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 that will uh, uh, obtain the objectives that it takes to uh, fulfill the requirements to get the degree. But the yeah. first in classes, let's say, you know, a lot of people are called, but they didn't get they didn't get to finish high school. So you generally to get in college, you got to have a high school diploma or a GED. But to be saved and serve in God's kingdom, you don't have to have any of that stuff. So that's why we designed those first 10 classes and we put them in the school of ministry category in the Bible college. So that means if you don't even have a GED or a high school diploma, we can let you take these courses. And then later, when you pass successfully these courses, we can transfer you into the Bible college. Now, what does that do, Pastor? Uh, mm -hmm. that, gives, that gives an individual who thought they had no hope of ever obtaining a degree, a real college degree. This gives them an opportunity to for a whole nother door, a whole nother avenue to make a personal achievement and even feel better about themselves and what they've acquired. So let, let me stop right here. It seems like you may have another question before I go any further. <laughs> Well, is the course available online for people that live yes, out of, yes, out of We're currently turning all the books, uh, uh, 
Of course, study is currently the books are being turned and transferred right now, probably as we speak, to ebooks. So that you can, you know, you pay your fees, then you get access to the courses. Now, here are the first 10 courses. There are the Old Testament survey, New Testament survey. There's a course that we developed called Christian Ministry 101. That course tells you, well, of course, Old Testament survey, you're going to survey that entire Old Testament. Now, you only have 10 weeks to do this. So that's why it's only a survey. It's not like when you start getting into systematic theology or Old Testament and New Testament theology. Those are more master's level courses on the next level of training and instruction that we do give. So, but right here, the first 10 are first of all, Old Testament survey, the next New Testament survey. That way we know this student. Now, these are not only biblical books, but they're also, when you categorize them, historical books. Talk a little bit about the, the, just what you said that uh, about those, those curriculums kind of let's give a little, a little detail, a little summary, cause you know, when you, those terminologies and, and, and just kind of explain the little layman's terms, what, what that's going to consist of. In okay. Order in the Old Testament you. survey course, you're going mm -hmm. to literally survey all 39 books of the Old Testament. You will get acquainted with them within these 10 week courses. A lot of the stuff is guided studies. Of course, we only gonna meet with you twice a month, but in between those times, there's a lot of work that you have to do, a lot of papers you're gonna have to write. You, you're gonna outline it, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna outline it, you're gonna do summaries, you're gonna have to write a, 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 a paper on an Old Testament uh, character uh, that, that literally was in the Bible. Same thing is gonna have to be done when you move from that course to the next course, which is the New Testament survey. These courses now, if, if I'm a pastor or I'm your pastor and I know that you've gone to this institution, I know at least that you've been through, it's looked at every page in the Bible, okay? Not wow. only that, when you, when you first take these first two courses, well, each 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 course, we, we help you build a library because every, whether you're a Sunday school teacher, missionary, pastor, whatever, you just a believer, you just want to know more about the word of God. You are hungry for a greater understanding of the word of God, more than I can get on Sunday morning and at Sunday school and maybe at Bible school and now all these new right. small groups that people are doing, you know, that don't have anything to do with church or the word of God. You know, we're going to go hunting and maybe we'll talk about Jesus, you know. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, let me get back over here where I'm supposed to be. Let me squint Melly. So, so we, 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 those courses, then you're going to build a library. We're going to, we, actually, we're teaching you how to study this Bible. You, you're going to, let me ask you, let me ask you this question. Say if a person, you know, like myself, when I first got out of high school, you know, uh, you know, I didn't know I was going to be a preacher, but, you know, I was, you know, and say if the writing skills of the person that's coming into classes is, you know, their, their spelling. We have a writing lab, brother. brother. We have a writing lab. You know, we have a writing lab. We, 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 we work with the students on an individual basis. Whatever you need to perfect your gift. We, see, one of my ap apostolic mandates and calling apostles perfect other gifts. Hey, that's a great see, and that's why I want to bring that tool out because sometimes people feel like they don't have the capacity because of the reading and level skills. But like you said, that's a great important step that's in there for anybody that want to come in because you're working with with if the you one, notice, one. I said, Even yeah. if you didn't have a GED or high school, yes. club, mm -hmm. the school of ministry is where you need to be. Because right. classes are small. It's not like people kick the doors down to come and learn about the Bible. Even people that want to preach and teach and be Sunday yeah, school yeah. teachers, missionaries, evangelists, and go all day. They just think we just get the Bible and let's go. And God's just going to pour something in my head. And I'm going to understand all the things that I need to know and understand. It. It's not so. Not so. Well, and it's so nothing wrong. What you a lot of times, here's what we run into. A lot of times you have seniors like yourself. Brother knows, you know, he might have been in ministry 20 years, but he knows some stuff he can get his skills sharpened on it, some stuff he can learn. But due to the spirit of pride, he won't even submit to that because he don't want to be sitting in the classroom with people knowing what I don't know. When, when it comes to school stuff, we all don't know. And there's never a dumb question. And literally, the scripture said we're ever learning and, and, and never able to come to the full knowledge of the truth. But go ahead on. Ask the next question. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because I just wanted to bring that up because why, you know, the, you know, there's so many people, you know, that's, that's in that capacity. And then that way it's a use is a friendly environment to be able to help uh, any lay person. And one on one, we're not yeah, here one -on -one. to embarrass you. Yeah, we're yeah. not here to embarrass you. We're here, we're here to help to help you. you. Yeah. And, and, and so Bible, that's, that's, College, Bible College is a ministry of helps. 
Yeah, and that's a good thing to know because I'm quite sure that the enemy may put somebody, well, you know, you're not, you know, and literally enough to go into into that field. But but here it is, you know, God has given you a mandate to reach out and help people like myself and others to bring us into the knowledge and to the growing knowledge of the word of God to be certified, you know, and to learn some things about scripture because I think, you know, anybody that needs a coach, you know, and so all the successful uh, athletes or whatever in any field that you're going in, all of those guys have paid coaches to get the, the you know, to let people look at them that skill and the knowledge in the area that they're operating. In. And so I, I didn't really understand about the power of a mentor, the being subject to somebody that has a skill set that's greater than yours to be able to teach you and show you some things that you don't know. And, and all that does just empower you as in your office so you can take that same information and pass it to others that's coming behind you, that's in your circle, that's in your group. So you empower them to be better citizens, to be better ministers, to have better understanding and, and create some small groups, like you're saying, to be able to take that information and pass it on to others. And so now you create uh, sort of like a, a domino effect. And now you create some skill set and gain some confidence in yourself. And also you go into the secular market, like you said, to create that entrepreneurial mindset to go in and to do some things and where it says hair, you know, whatever field that you're going in, the word of God goes into all of those fields because the word of God is in us. And so if we're qualified, we can what well, be students to teach and train others how to prosper and be uh, be successful. See, in the Greek Did word, I that up? yes, sir. The Greek word for that is ethnos. Yeah, no, yes, going to all the world. See, and every yeah. world has a different language, like this this social media world now, the, yeah. the hospital, the even yeah. the mechanic shop, the barber shop, the beauty salon, all those are different worlds. Yeah. We only describe two classes. Now there are 10 classes. We're currently we're also putting them together where well, they're gonna be able you be able to access them from YouTube if you so desire. But the first two are old testament survey, new testament survey. This way, you and I know. That you've surveyed, you've gone through the entire Bible. Next course called Christian Ministry 101. What that course is, it, is this a course designed because most people come out of the world and they think the church or the kingdom of God should run like their social club or their fraternity or their sorority or, 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 or even uh, corporate America, but not so. So we're, in that course, we teach you about the fivefold ministries. We teach you about the basic five fundamentals about ministry. Number one is that ministry is not a career objective. Many people fail or get burnt out because they think, you know, they see a preacher with a nice car, a nice suit. Hey, well, I could do that. And then they get in it. Man, I, the, the latest statistic that we just, just pulled up is 1,400 preachers per month walk out of ministry. Well, that means... 1,400 people that weren't necessarily called to be in ministry call. The church right now is using losing 50,000 souls a month of people leaving the church never to return again. So here we have a hemorrhage, man. We got let, a me, serious let, me, let, 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 let me ask you a question and, and talk about the cause. Why is it that you think so many Christians, so many people, I know the Bible said the last days be a great falling away. Talk a little bit about, I want you to talk a little bit about two things. I want to talk about you talked about the fivefold uh, ministry, you know, and then you talked that question about the fivefold understanding that foundation, and then talk. Uh, then we go into the second question: Why is it that you think so many people are, are leaving the uh, the church? Uh, I know the pastors are leaving, like you said, most of them probably wouldn't call anyway. But then, then here we are. We got people that's been in the church, and, and then talk about that fivefold ministry well, foundation. Well, well, and one one problem here yeah. is that there. Most, most times, especially in our culture, I can only speak to our culture. The question is always asked when you tell somebody, well, I'm a minister. Next thing they go, well, where's your church? And so immediately your, your mind sets, uh, starts telling you, well, I'm supposed to be a pastor. No, no, no. There, there are so many other places that you can minister in other than just being the pastor that God could use you in. But because of that thing, the enemy uses that right off the top to that young preacher, that young young minister, and and then they stifle because they run around the whole career trying to have a church, and then they get a church might not get five, ten, fifteen people in it, and it never strives it, because that's not what I'm not saying. You're not called to ministry. You're just not called to do that. And see, that's what Christian Ministry One Hundred and One helps you do: learn to assess where am I, where do I fit? 
every joint supplies. I have a supply, you have a supply. I often say this all the time, very boldly. I'm not called to everyone, but I am called to someone, and that someone may just be you. And, and but, but I know where I fit. I know what I'm called to do. I love to teach when I'm in, I'm in my teaching zone. I, I, I'm just as comfortable sitting in one of those classrooms, disseminating and teaching the truths and the fundamentals that you need to be an effective Sunday school teacher, missionary, pastor, or teacher. But the next thing is, is that not only about the great falling away, but we've never really plugged people into the word of God. <laughs> Most people, yeah, people are personality driven and, 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 and they never got we're plugged person, in. We're personality driven. Come yeah. on now. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, sometimes even when, when you go on vacation, you got to sneak out to church because they may not come to church. They find out you gone because they, you, they come to the personality, not to the deliverance of the word. Wow, See, many wow. people, even me, I, I know I have, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a tough piece of work. Most apostles, most end times apostles are because it's like a no nonsense. It's the government of God. It's, it's the air, the, 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 the anointing, the, the weight of the mantle that true end time apostles walk in. So, so imagine when God told Joshua, there should not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of our life. He was saying there's something about your aura and your essence that's going to be somewhat intimidating. And so a lot of times, so instead of people that being able to receive from that, they resist it when it's really what they need because we prefer darkness rather than light, you know, and then I don't want him to teach me nothing, man. Listen, it's not about me. It's about the Holy Spirit getting you where you need to be. So you have 50,000 people and, and those deal with big denominations that have more religious experiences and then instead of teaching the people about relationships. Yes, I was really just in relationship with him, not religious activities. And so now people are getting burnt out of the religious activity because except they see signs and wonders, man of God, they won't believe. Believe, that's right. And yeah. so the greatest sign I ever need to see is my life changing. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, talking about that. I was uh, talking about word base and um, I was listening to a statistic that I was watching. The Jewish people are 2% of the world's population. But when it comes to the wealth and riches, uh, they have 30% of them of the world's population are billionaires. And so I was asking the Lord, talking about stewardship, talking about word being word based. And basically, they operate from an Old Testament mentality because they don't believe Jesus has come yet. And I was saying, Lord, how is it that they have accumulated and understood the word of God and the word of God is so uh, applicable in their life and through their upbringing, through their training, you know, and then, you know, and so understanding these cultures from a Jewish perspective to be able to, that, that God's word, if it produced in their lives like that, it will produce also because we are grafted in through Abraham. So the covenant is, is effective on both sides. But like you said, if you don't get back into the foundation of the word and make it applicable and understanding how it applies to your life on an everyday basis and understanding that, that, that you know, the spirit of God say we have an unction from the Holy One who teaches us all things. And God will show me. He said, my son, he said, why people don't ask me to make them multimillionaires? He said, if you have an unction from the Holy One who teaches you all things, which is okay, the comfort of, you know, John 14 and 26. We're from the school. When we get on that stuff, we're way yeah. off from the school, what we're talking about. But that's because people have a poverty mentality. Yeah, but, but that's still word and, based. And, and, and I don't, I don't, if, mm -hmm. if I'm seeing conscious and I think I'm unworthy, see, your people come from the cotton fields and they've been taught mentally, Jim Crowism, that they don't deserve anything. And, and, and that you're not supposed to have anything and to, and to prosper and to be bad and to have and to help all that. So that mindset has to be overcome in, in a people in this generation. Yeah. But, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Like you said, and, and that's one of the things that you do in the, in the college as well, because you're teaching them entrepreneurship in relationship to the word, how God will let if they start a business. You know that the business were possible because they got yeah, the order. Yeah, but you yeah. got see, like you were saying, those Hebrews, they 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 follow the word. We don't follow the word. They gonna sow, they gonna give, they gonna pay their tithes. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I kept customer. poking around until I got it too. Yeah, well, but that's not see, we 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 not that you gotta get another subject because we won't talk about the <laughs> trying to get people encouraged to get educated, brother. Not all of you can read about so the third class we just mentioned is this Christian Men 101. So you understand the church, you don't come in here giving the pastor problems. 
because <laughs> now you understand everybody's role, everybody's role. In every relationship, there are roles and expectations. Then the next course are practical courses. Well, you mentioned end time. There's so eschatology is in there also because you're going to have to study the book of Daniel and the book of Revelations. So those are eschatolo eschatological books. And they are the studies of the end time. Any, any minister, Sunday school teacher, once again, any, any believer, especially in the times we're living in, should have at least a general grasp of end time studies. So that's old, that would be, those are also biblical courses, uh, as well as historical, because Daniel's an Old Testament certain course. But of course, Revelations is a New Testament course. And so yeah. you get your eschatology there. You get you get your practical practicality. Because we have other courses like the principles of faith, because every believer needs to know how to live and operate by faith. And if you're going to be a minister, a preacher, you definitely need to know how to live and operate by faith. So you learn about the different degrees of faith, how faith works and the practical application of faith in your in your life. Then we have the principles of prayer, because Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Prayer does not have to be poetic, but it needs to be powerful and based on the word of God. Yeah. So in this course, you learn about praying to get results. And hopefully as a minister, Sunday school, teacher, missionary, children's worker, whatever department, single, whatever department you say God called you to be in in the kingdom and operate. Well, now you, you one thing we know, you 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 you, you got a prayer life, see, because your anointing is going, going to flow from that, that your, your, your vertical, not necessarily your horizontal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean. Then, the, one then, thing I like, the one thing I like about you, Pastor, from the first time I met you, you had a depth and a, and a clarity. And, and, you know, that's what I was talking about, that spiritual credentials. Because you're a teacher, and, and, and when you go into the depth of the word, I mean, you, you just sit back and, oh, man, because of like the depth and the understanding that God has given you, your, your spiritual certificate and your natural uh, certification, they, they, they bond, they go together. And so that's one of the great things that I always liked about you, the depth and the clarity of the teaching of knowing that's upon your life and also the gifting that God has placed into your life. And then through this college, I just want to let people know that you would become a part of the Word of Life Christian College. It will be a great stepping stone in educating you spiritually and naturally and bringing you under the mentorship of, of Dr. Henry Roberts. And this would be a great opportunity for well, you. Now, now, when we first started, Pastor, I was the only instructor. Now we have several different instructors and things of that nature. I, but is, there are specific courses that I teach myself. I teach mm -hmm. the principles of faith. I teach the... Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit and his gifts. I forgot to mention that one. So because okay. every believer needs to function and know, but these are, like I say, those are three practical courses, like application. Like, you know, when you go to school to be a doctor, there's going to be yeah. something you're going to learn. You sit in the room and learn, but then you got to have some practicality. And so Christian ministry, the Holy Spirit and his gifts, uh, principles of prayer, principle and, and the principles of prayer, principles of faith, those three courses right there, revolutionize wow. the way you think, the way you operate, your, your whole, it, it, I, that's why I recommend it. it's not just for preachers, man, it's for everybody. And that's wow. why we're trying to get it where you can get it on YouTube, online, sit in Zoom classes. Yeah. All, all that. Because, because yeah. I, just listening to you, man, I I, I, I know I just, I, I, I need to come back and get re retrained to learn some things that, 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 that. Oh, God, you're welcome to come sit in and audit any Saturday morning, the next class, you come and sit in and audit and just, just, just see. Just see, okay. And what every Saturday, every, every twice second a month. and fourth Saturday, like twice okay. a month. Just so sometimes, month. Every, sometimes I run three because see, due to COVID, we we slowed down. We're just coming right. back. So uh okay. and, and it's 10 courses. So the first to do a uh, old testament survey, new testament survey, Christian ministry one on one, the Holy Spirit is gifts, principles of faith, principles of prayer, the book of Daniel, the book of Revelation. Uh then then there's another course we teach called called the prophets. In that wow. class, we is not nobody teaching you how to prophesy, but you learn about all the prophets in the Bible. You're gonna wow. write a paper on one, you're gonna study how they flow, how they operated differently in the old testament and the new testament. You, you're gonna learn about their three types of prophetic offices or categories of prophets. You got the old testament <laughs> prophets, new testament prophets, and the end time prophets. And, and so it, wow. it just opens up your understanding. Then the last course yeah. is what we call. Christian Foundation. And the Christian Foundation is more of a hermeneutics course. And what hermeneutics just simply means general biblical interpretation. Now, in that course, you're going to learn what other religions of the world think and in, 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 in view. 
so you know what you stand in. You're gonna learn about the doctrine of salvation, the doctrine about baptism, Jesus, Jesus Christ being God Almighty manifested in the flesh. These are the things you learn in Christian foundation. So now, by the time you take those ten courses, you, you got your mind right. If you want to go further and deeper, we got some more stuff for you. But these wow. are just ten prerequisite. 10 courses that we're putting together where you can be able to go online right now and get them, or you can watch us on Zoom or come in the classroom live. That's that's the best thing because then you get that tangible anointing because it's, 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 it's all that transference is going on every time you're in the room with one of those instructors wow, who, are that, walking, that, who are walking in the manifestation of this. That, that, the Bible says, follow those who through faith and patience have inherited the promises. Yeah, that, that's that's awesome. So we're coming up uh, to the end of, of our interview. And um, one question, uh, what's what's the cost for attending the, the Bible college? And then after that- uh, we'll I'm let... thinking I, there's a registration fee, all that's online, but I think it's like uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe 100 to $150 an hour undergraduate courses and yeah. then 200 or something like that. I don't, don't hold me to that because that's not my department. I'm just a teacher. But I guarantee it's online. You can get that information right now tonight yeah. at uh, okay. www.worldoflifechristiancollegeandcareerdevelopmentcenter, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me, let me see. Pull, pull that, we're on Facebook. That we're on Facebook also. There it is. Uh, yeah. There it is. Worldoflifecollege.org. Okay. Worldoflifecollege.org. Okay. Worldoflifecollege.org. We okay. also have a, uh, we have, we, we have, we used to have a, a, a school. We're going to get that back over. We got daycare. Uh, and we teach our, our children leave their reading. Wow. That's, that's, yes. that's awesome, man. That's awesome. awesome. Three, four years old. They read. It's been a great interview about the college and I'm really, we need to do a follow-up, man, because all of those different classes that you offer just to get a little summary, maybe a two or three minute summary breakdown on those, on those 10, uh, 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 uh you know, uh, courses that you offer will be something great, man, because I, uh, I mean, you, man, you got me <clears throat> moving and jumping and so, uh, wow, that's awesome. So, Pastor, uh, we, we thank you for the interview with Dr. Henry Roberts with the Word of Life uh, Christian College. And uh, just uh, give us some closing remarks and um, and we'll just be, we'll, we'll, we'll end our interview and we'll do a follow up next time. I want to encourage you out there, don't don't, don't ever be in the place where, where, where you feel like I'm too old to learn or I don't want, I can't do this. Or it's, it's, no, 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 no. The time is right now. We work with you with your tuition. And, and if you want to learn and grow, that that's an additional piece. You, you'll be a better person in your local assembly. The the more equipped you are to help the pastor with the vision where you've been assigned to serve and grow and live and flourish with your family. I want to encourage you. The Bible says study to show yourself approved work beneath by the dish ain't right. We got too many people in pulpits that don't know what they're talking about and spitting out a whole lot of error. You know, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> stay focused well, and stay in faith God bless you. Well, man, man of God we thank you for the interview and this is Urban One 2018 I'm your host Wayne Johnson and we thank uh, Dr. Henry Roberts for a great interview about the, the college and the things that it offers to us here in the, in the Mobile area of Chickasaw and so like you say Man, become a student. You like to online courses. So with no further ado, we're going to give you the Bill Winston salute. And until next time, may God's richest blessings be upon you. And thank you for joining us today.